Hello, Identity 5 Gamers! Whoa, that antiquarian is flying on in here. Uh, it is time to check out some more Koa matches today. That's right, we are checking out matches from day four. I believe we're going to only check out set number one today since I am quite busy, so I apologize for that. Hey! Can you stop throwing things at me? Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? I can't even see what, what was it you? Was it you? Huh? This is a, a ding-dong ditch. Anyways, I want to do my essence opening here real quick. But one cool thing that I got recently was I actually was able to snag uh, the little cowboy accessory from the logic path. Pretty excited to see what the effect is on that when I do eventually play cowboy again in the future sometime. I don't know when, but sometime. But yeah, we're going to check out the first set of day four today. Pretty excited to see how it's going to go. That's mid. All right. All right. Now let's take a look at the next uh, Armland Puppets Day thing. Oh my gosh, that's Bonathan. Do I really want to click on this? Do I really want to see him? Uh, I am busy, sorry. Uh, do I really want to click on Bonathan, huh? Bon... 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 <laughs> bon... My favorite guy. Today we have Puppet Bon Bon. Is he a puppet or a robot? No one knows. If you wish to know more about him, you must first enter his heart. I see... All oh, right, I guess he does have that weird like heart organ thing in his yeah I never thought that was cool. I always thought that was really creepy and ugly and scary Anyway enough about Bon Bon lore. We've got XMG versus FPX ZQ here uh, This is the this is round one first half. We're going to see opera singer obviously going up against seer officer aeroplanist and Journalist now don't get me wrong. I love to see some Alistair Ross gaming, but I'm not really sure what she's supposed to do against Opera Singer, like, high key. She she kind of just flops against Opera Singer because she just manipulates her hitbox, and then what do you do? Like, there's not much she can do. All right, here we go. On to the first match. It's going to be Ever Sleeping Town. Now, there is no commentator audio this time. That is because the person who recorded these and re-uploaded them onto YouTube, uh, they're... That's funny. Oh, dang, that was a uh, in, like an instant unpause. That was like a three-second pause. Anyway, uh, they didn't record the audio properly, so there literally isn't any uh, commentator slash game audio, so I apologize for that. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be uh, DX here as the hunter, seen as one of the best hunters in the business, and he's going to be chasing the Aeroplanus first. Yep, already getting some distance with the good old jetpacks. As for the builds, though, we're going to see Detention, Trump Card, and Blink on the Opera Singer. We've got uh, Journalist with Tide and Knee Jerk, so ready to kite, but also um, do some wrestling. Okay. Nice owl used from the seer there. We've got borrowed time Nidric on the seer. Uh, oh, 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 just straight up body blocking it. Really? I thought you'd be able to squeeze in there. My goodness, I guess you can. Huh. Yeah, and then and then Aeroplanus does have uh, Nidric and Tide. Same with the journalist so that he can uh, both rescue and kite. And then we've got borrowed time Tide on the officer. So we have three rescuers here. Three rescues is pretty interesting. Now, the, the biggest thing here is that these ciphers are going to be a little bit slow since they have a journalist and officer decoding right now. Uh, officer with a 20% decoding debuff and journalist with a um, with a 10% decoding debuff. And, oh, there's the blink, but misses. Uh, okay, well, uh, eh. missed, quote-unquote, blink. And, yeah, that's that's all three jetpacks used from the Aeroplanus. And they are using or they are, they, they're losing one of their Tide users here, but the thing is it's probably fine because officer and journalist both have Tide as well. So it really isn't that big of a deal. And if Opera does end up changing targets, which usually never happens in an Opera match, but if she does so happen to do so, uh, they'll have Tide back up on the Aeroplanist. And yeah, First Officer is already making his way on in here. He's got the watches at the ready. He might use one. Right, yep, right around now, right around now. Just buying some time. Gonna get trying to get closer to the chair. He's in an open area, so he has a... You know, he's got a little bit of time to work with here, but he's got to start moving in. Okay, and there's the hit. Uh, gonna have to rescue probably a little bit earlier than he wants to, but that's okay. And is probably gonna be able to- no, that's the Aeroplanist, my bad. I got fooled by the freaking Officer Juke moment. And yeah, this is a really good place to die in Graveyard. Graveyard is one of the best places to die. Oh, oh, trying to- uh, trying to avoid Opera, uh, full prez, but yeah, it's not happening there. But yeah, this is one of the best places to die, because it's far away from the chair. You, like, it takes a while for them to pick- like, let's see. Let's count how many seconds this takes. Let's see. It's at 229. For you to pick him up and put him in the chair, it's probably going to take almost 10 seconds. Let's see. Like, 10 seconds being bought for free because of this. Let's see. Exactly 10 seconds with the chair animation. Boom. 13 seconds. 13 seconds that took. Just because he died in a corner. That's 13 extra seconds. That's going to be another 13 seconds when they get the rescue and they die off in the corner again. Uh, that's why it's so nice. It's just extra 13 seconds for free, dude. That's why dying in a corner is so good. Because if you die near a chair... It takes so much less time. The picking up balloons, walking to the chair, it's going to take so much less time. Kaede Akamatsu here, you love to see it, using the little doof. She kills the doof, she can run in here, get the free rescue. We love to see the rescue doof. And she actually takes the hit for the aeroplanist, which 
I guess they're actually going to try and kite this out. The Cyphers are a little bit slow. Even if you were to die off in a corner, uh, it probably wouldn't really matter. Uh, no, he's probably going to try and kite it out in Graveyard. Uh, teleport is up. Okay, drop Pallet. It's enough, it's enough, but he's kind of stuck here. Yep, does get Terra Shocked, yep. Does indeed get Terra Shocked. So now at this point, he just kind of crawls a little bit away. And yeah, he is going to be dead. But the, the, by the time uh, she gets onto a new target... Actually, she might just TP onto a target here. Let's see. She might TP Journalist. That's going to be Journalist. Uh, yep. Oh, the instant doof. The instant doof hit. What the heck? Oh, that is so funny, dude. That is so funny. And guess what? It doesn't matter because it's Opera Singer. It literally doesn't matter because it's Opera Singer. Wait, where's that doof going? I saw another doof. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. He didn't even... What? So he just sat there? He just sat there and took it? Doof, what the heck, bro? What the heck? Oh, and she's cheering on the Cypher, too. Very good. Very, very good. Yep. If you're a hunter and you can cheer on a Cypher, always cheer on a Cypher. Always cheer on a Cypher. And the thing is, Opera Singer is another reason why she's so good. Because she kind of for she always forces people out of good areas because she's so freaking fast. So she'll, she'll end up making people, like, forced to die on people's Cyphers. Because she's just, again, so darn fast. This is going to be the last uh, pallet blocking Doofius, and yeah, she doesn't even want to deal with us. She's like, yeah, I'm not going to deal with it. Let me just chase the Seer instead. I'll just chase the Seer. At this point, she can just whittle people down, and she knows the Cypher is right here, so why why chase the journalist who's going to drag her away from the Cypher when she could just chase the Seer who's on top of the Cypher and keep cheering on the Cypher? Force him to open up a new one, and literally all their resources are gone. Nobody has any resources left. Our Opera's got full press. She's got all the resources in the world. Yeah, all, all these survivors just have absolutely nothing. She can get aggressive here while First Officer gets... Lucky and gets another watch from a chest. That's actually really lucky. I can't even lie. That is super lucky. She's probably going to TP back. She's checking ciphers. TP back for safety. Yep. Make sure this seer dies. She knows nobody's on a cipher, so she knows she's winning right now. So if nobody's on a cipher, you're winning. That's the good thing. That is the that is the good thing. Now, Officer probably does actually want... um, He probably wants a syringe. So if, if you're the officer here, ideally you want to find a syringe in a chest and then use your um watch to do some rescuing. And it looks like... He's actually not even doing that. He's actually opting to just hide it out. Interesting. I wonder if he's going to go for the rescue. He has to be worried about the, uh, the opera TPing back. She might just TP back. Yep. Exactly, bro. Exactly. He's got to watch, though. He just, he just, he just tide watches. He doesn't even care. He's like, eh, not going to bother with it. Just going to tide watch. Just going to tide with it. And Seer dies anyway. So what was the point? So what was the point? <laughs> Oh boy, what was the point? Journalist is about to finish that cipher, but it's not gonna be it's not gonna be done in time. She could just TP. She could TP. Seer's dead. TP to cipher. First officer's already down. He's gonna have to use the selfie to get back up. Yep, that's a 4K. That is indeed a 4K. So I guess what the question is, what went wrong here? What exactly went wrong? I don't think anything necessarily went wrong. I think it's just DX played opera so well, did exactly what he has to do. Um if there's anything that went wrong, honestly, I would say it's probably the journalist kite. Her kite was very short. She used up two resources. She got one body block, but it just wasn't enough. Yep, dying in the bushes. Officer can work on the cipher, but again, it's at 60, so she just, like, TPs back, rushes to the cipher, and he does not make that in time. Nope, not with opera speed, bro. Not with opera speed. She is too fast. Now, she doesn't have cape, so she has to be pretty slow around here. But yeah, at this point, you know officers use up his self-heal. So once you find him... He's dead, and then Journalist uses up her self-heal. Same thing happens. Now, the one thing that could happen here is Journalist uses up her self-heal, gets on the Cypher, and that'll be enough. So, First Officer is going to opt to die all the way in the corner. Um, journalist cannot pop the Cypher, and yep, he just goes down. Will she pop the Cypher? Will she, will she force it? Yep, now she's forced to chair. She's forced to chair because she knows. She knows. That's, that's actually really smart. That's actually really smart. But the thing is, this is an officer, and his chair time lasts forever. Which typically is a good thing. Oh? No? Oh, she's waiting for her TP. She's guaranteeing this. Dang, she is guaranteeing this. Yep. Why why chair him? There's no there's no point in chairing him when you're about to have your TP up. Why why bother? Yep, drone's going for the cipher. They should know. They should know. First off, I should be like, yeah, she's about to have TP up, or like she's waiting for TP. Uh yeah, so the second if she touches that cipher, she's warping. Yep. Just slowly make your way over there. You know Officer has no self-heal, so you don't even need to. Yep. You don't even need to. Alright, there's no need to chair. Now that you found the journalist. 
Listen, Coyote, you're cool and all, but I think it's over. I think it's over. She knows you're there. Yep, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> she went flying. Oh, rest in peace, journalist. I'm going to round one second half here. We're going to see Opera Singer once again going up against Cheerleader, Perfumer, Coordinator, and The Officer. We've got Detention, Trump Card, a Blink on Opera, and some builds on the survivors. I didn't get a good look. Ooh, that Ever Sleepy Town looked kind of pretty, though. I can't lie. Anyway, so for the builds, we've got Borrow Time Tide on the Cheerleader, Borrow Time Knee Jerk on Cord, Borrow Time Tide on Officer, and then Borrow Time Knee Jerk on the, uh, the Perfumer here. So ideally, who is the best first chase target here? Not The Officer. He's gonna pop the watch here. Yep, just force him to pop the watch. Yep. Make sure you keep on tuning that thing, buddy. Make sure you keep on tuning that thing. Uh, we're gonna see, yeah, we're gonna see fast pallet break and uh, panic. Per very, very, very standard uh, build here. This is the coordinator, probably. Oh, probably. This is a pretty okay chase target. This is a pretty okay chase target, yeah. That's fine. Ideally, you'd probably want perfume to pop a gun. Yeah, pop the gun. There we go. Dude, I swear that opera was probably mid attack animation. So she was probably really, really close to getting the, uh, getting the hit there. Song it out here. Cord can probably... Nah, she can't make this loop. She's gonna take a hit here. Yeah, she's gonna take a hit here. Opera is just too fast, dude. Opera is just too darn fast. Way too fast. I don't know why they made her this fast. <laughs> I mean, she did. they did get a nerf to her speed. Um, so I just like, can you force out blink here? Force out blink? No, no. Oh, she's dead. Wait, no, but knee jerk with knee jerk and the blink. Okay, forced out blink, forced out blink. If you can force out blink, it's good enough. You know, it's a fast down, but you force out blink. That's what matters. That is what matters. Yep. And uh, the one, the one saving grace about Officer popping an early watch is he does get a seven percent decoding, uh, d de or decoding buff uh, each time he uses a watch. Breaks that pallet. That's a really good pallet. Unfortunately, gone. But it's okay. It forced out the blink, and that's what's important. That's another really good pallet right there. Those, I love those two pallets as survivors. When they're gone, bro, I feel so garbage. I feel like so, like such a weakling without those pallets, dude. Without those pallets, I feel helpless. Okay, Officer buying time here with the watch, doing his thing, doing his thing. Careful now, careful now. You still got some time. Buy some time, buy some time. Yo, buy some more time, buddy. Yo, you had like an extra freaking five seconds to get a bot there. Sheesh. I guess two, two and a half ciphers are done here. And I mean, Cord does have a long chair time as well. You want to make use of that chair time. Okay, well, you just took an extra hit here. Now you die in a corner. Yep, die in a corner gaming. Die in a corner gaming. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I would have liked to see Quinter not try to kite it out when she was already dead and just die in the corner more. Like, you're gonna... I guess she was trying not to feed Opera presents, but, like, it doesn't matter. She's gonna... There's no point. Just, like, play optimally. Don't play for, like... Fe She's gonna get presents anyway. Opera's presence doesn't matter. She's just fast. Like, the, the, the full presence ability is really good, don't get me wrong. But she's gonna have it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Like, by the next time... By the, ne how, uh, what, by the time you get the next rescue, it doesn't matter, right? It just doesn't matter. I don't know. That's what I think, anyways. Like... It doesn't really matter feeding Opera Presence because her base kit is already so freaking cracked. Where are you going? Die in a corner. Die in a corner. I don't know where she's going. Just die in that corner. That corner that you died in is a, such a beautiful corner to die in. Is she trying to drag? Oh, she. you know what? She's trying to drag her away. She's trying to drag her away from all the ciphers. I think that's what it is. Because they do have people back over there. She's trying to die in this corner specifically. Yeah. She's trying to drag her all the way from the ciphers. Yeah, that's why. That's why. Yep, that's why. If you can be on the opposite side, you can either force out a TP or she has to like dash all the way over. So I think that's the reason why. Otherwise, she should have died in that back corner. Tree Litter is kind of just chilling in this corner. Um, doesn't want to move just yet. Oh. Uh, she sees you. She sees you. <laughs> all right. So we got two beep beeps, but all the... Or no, we don't have no beep beeps. What? Since when do we... Uh, I guess we have no beep beeps. All right. Cool. Uh, there's beep beep. Yeah. Speed versus speed, dude. Speed versus speed. And she gets hit anyway. Yep. If she had two BBs, she was making that though. If she had two BBs, she was definitely making that. And blinks for the down once again. Wow. Forces up a second blink. Uh, swaps a TP on the Opera Singer. And Lily's gonna sit on the chair. But ciphers are happening. And she has no trait. She can't she can't TP to the uh to the cipher. And Perfumer is already here. This is the Cheerleader's first chair. They can actually draw this. They can actually draw this. She's gonna push for the cipher. As you should, as you should. At this point, you want to push people off the cipher. You do not want to, uh... Oh, wait, does the officer have a perfume? He does. He does have a perfume. Um... Oh, he got that from a chest. Yeah, he did. They didn't do perfume or item tricks. Does take a hit, so now the perfume is completely useless. Wow. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that, is, that is quite unfortunate. Um, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Now, watch out for the tram, Opera. Don't get hit by that tram. Careful now, Opera. Ooh, just barely, just barely. 
Breaking these pallets here. Breaks up, breaks them up, breaks them up. And perfume's back. Oh, I don't think she saw the perfume. Not that it really matters because she's so fast. Oh, it doesn't matter, bro, bro. Unless you like perfume like in a very specific spot, like two story um, behind a pallet or like drop pallet or like, you know, perfume drop pallet for safety. Like, there's just, like the perfume is just, oh boy. For distance at least, it's not good. For tanking, sure. If you're perfume and you're tanking damage, sure, it can work. But for distance, bro, when you're an opera singer, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter because she covers distance so darn fast, dude. Uh, even with the addition of Ivy. Now, I, I think Ivy's pretty strong. But even with the addition of Ivy, bro, I still think Opera's the best. I do still think Ivy is very, very strong, though. Okay, we're stalling it out. We're stalling it out. Just stalling it out. Perfume again, because the cheerleader can refresh it. Yep. Just do the same thing again. Just do the same thing again. Teleport back. Yup, yup. Stall it out. Just stall it out. Who cares? Just stall it out. Boop. There's the hit. And it's still rushing before house. It's just officer chair time. That was actually really good. Just not just not even going for the rest of you, because why, why would you? Why would you? Just buy, just buy more chair time. Just buy more. If Opera hits you, then you then you just uh, you, you teleport back. And if she doesn't hit you, teleport back anyway. Might as well. And there is the pop. That's a three-person endgame. This should be a draw. Well, it's Opera Singer. It could be 3k. But they, they should at least try and get one person out the gate here. With FPXEQ, they already got a 4k um, from DX's game. What you want to try and do here is get one person out the gate. If you can get one person out the gate, um, then FPXEQ is looking pretty good. But if you're XMG, you want to try and stop that, right? The issue is, if you TP to one gate, one gate's already going to be open. So you, you can TP to the cheerleader's gate, but then the officer's gate will be open. So one person is guaranteed getting out here. Uh, we chair the perfumer. And we might be able to stop the officer. She does TP to the cheerleader. Yep. Forces are out. Forces are out. And now we can maybe kill officer. This could be a 3k. This could be a 3k. He has no items. He's at half health. And... Oh, wait. Oh, she didn't see him. She didn't see him. No, she saw him. She saw him. She saw him. Never mind. She saw him. I thought she didn't see him under the corner, corner of her eye. Yep. Okay, that's it. Dang! Frame one surrender. That's a 3k. On to round two. First half, you're going to see the Bon Bon going up against Lawyer Batter in round two. Melly and the Mercenary. Now, FBXQ does have a three-point lead, I believe, on the uh, on XMG here. Uh, even though it was only a 1k difference, 4k does net you some extra points. So the, the lead is slightly bigger than if it was just, you know, 2k to 3k or something. Oh, and we're going to see it's going to be the Monokuma Bonathan here. Oh, Bonathan, bro. And not, not the hypest hunter. Oh, they're rocking Phyllis Melly. Oh, let's go. I'm so glad they're not rocking Coney Melly. Everybody in tournament loves rocking Coney Melly. Oh, sees the batter, but now it's going to opt to not chase the batter. Yep, it's going to be a detention trump card uh, blink on this Bonathan here. Um, he's got panic and something on his person. I, I think that's like stun reduction. I can't really, I can't really tell. I can't really tell. Uh, it's probably there for the batter, at least. It's probably there for the batter. Uh, we got some bees posted up here. Careful, because the, 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 the bomb can pop the bees. Yeah, that, that took out the bees. Oh, no, she called back the bees. Yeah, she called back the bees in time. Okay, good work for Melly. Good stuff. I think she called them back before the bomb could uh, could ship them. Uh, so now now he lost targets on the lawyer. He's trying to find the lawyer here, but cannot find, uh, cannot find the lawyer anymore. Yeah, XMG, I'm not really sure why they're playing Bon Bon here, because they are... They are down, and Bonbon is seen as like a Thai god hunter. So unless you're like really, really good at Bonbon, bon, like you main Bonbon, bon, like if you're FAV Yami, your Bonbon's crazy. Hey, leave that Melly alone! Leave her alone! Leave her alone! No! Oh my gosh, now hit him with the. <laughs> Are we doing this? Are we really doing this again, bro? Oh, I guess we're doing this again, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> Although that's, that's not really the, the, the Saudis. These sounds were like. I don't even know, bro. Why am I even doing this? <laughs> Why do I even do this? Oh my gosh. Okay, he's doing something with the control bomb there. Doesn't get the chip. Um, but now at this point, he just keeps Melly in the chair. And it really had to be Melly. Why couldn't it have been freaking Lawyer? Why couldn't he be in the chair, bro? I really have to watch a Melly die to a freaking Bonathan. Oh boy. They might just sell. They might just sell. They can afford it. If has a lead, they're just going to sell. Why bother rescuing? Why bother? And if they do rescue, it's going to be after half. I mean, yeah, they, they have their mercenary posted up, I think. Uh, their ciphers are actually a little slow, I can't lie. They are a little slow. He caught Melly in a really bad area. Um, he could just, like, you know, chuck a bunch of bombs and then just go for the hit. Pretty unfortunate for the Melly. I do feel bad for her. Ah, stop throwing bombs on her chair. Leave her alone. She has, like, no bees left either. It looks like she has, like, maybe 10%, 20% bees. Oh, here's the rescue. Here's the rescue. All right, Mr. Inference, do your thing. Okay, okay. 
She makes it out. She makes it out. But at this point, she probably just dies. She probably just dies to uh, to t with, with, with Tide. Because she dies in a chip. Yep, there she goes. Hits the bees. And yep. Yep. Oh, Melly. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Melly. Oh. <laughs> Melly. I feel bad. It's okay, Melly. You'll get him next time. I believe. You did well. You did well. But Monokuma Bonathan, he's out for blood, bro. I'll see you later, Melly. Okay, he still hasn't used he hasn't even used his blink. They haven't even used his blink. And he just doesn't even use it. He just swaps to TP. Swaps TP. Okay, this is actually kind of surprising, because um, this is not looking like a draw. This is looking more like a 3k. Because their ciphers are slow. Now don't get me wrong, they do have a lawyer. They do have a lawyer, but the other two people up right now, they're they are slow decoders, besides the lawyer. The lawyer is their one saving grace for their cipher rush. And it looks like he might be early transitioning. Nope. Okay, he's gonna stay on the cipher. Oh nope, nope. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, actually, Mr. Inference, bro, is out of elbow pads. That was almost a really good chip. That was almost a really, really good chip. Uh, still missing the chips. Still missing the chips, dude. That the bomb, the bomb chains are scary, dude. Like that, like, like these bomb chains can go crazy. Okay, let's see. Bomb chain, bomb chain. Nope, not quite, not quite, dude. I swear, like Yami from FAV, his, his bomb chains were so good. He like he just knows exactly where you want to walk and throws down the bomb to perfectly chain and get the kill. Oh, hit him with that. That was disgusting. Anyway, uh, moving on. The Cyphers have sped up a little bit. That's, that's thanks to Exoder decoding most likely. Um, yep, yeah, Batter decoder, my favorite decoder, yep. Yeah. Uh, and he's actually continuing to decode the last Cypher while Lawyer is gonna actually opt to go for the rescue. Uh, which is probably better because this is a full kite build uh, Ganji, which is typically what we actually see on Ganji. He's, he's usually seen as a full kite build uh, type character. And uh, he is being forced off the Cypher. They're going to be able to get the Mercenary Rescue pretty much for free. But I guess he's doing the chase with purpose thing where he's just like, yeah, you know what? Why bother chasing people on Cyphers? There's just no point. So they do get the rescue. Um, Ganji's going to try and kite this out. He gets the chip, gets the chip. Ooh, batter, batter, swing. That's one, that's one. His TP is back up, so if he sees in the Cypher being worked on, he can TP to it. But he has to get this batter down first. Flywheels and... Okay, he does. Yeah, he does take the, he does take the chip. He does take the chip. For a second, I thought he was about to avoid that chip somehow. Oh, Merc finds a... For, he finds a... Um, he finds a syringe. Okay, if batter can kite this out, this can be a draw. He's actually kiting really, really well here. Does take the chip again. I don't know why he ran into the... He literally ran into that chip. I'm not really sure what was up with that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Don't run into it, please. Okay, he didn't really doesn't run into the bomb chain. But Lawyer's decoding now. Mercenary has his heal prime. Okay, things are looking much better now. Things are looking much better thanks to this batter. This batter kiting it out. Di finally does die to a chip. Um Mercenary and Batter have both seen the rest or uh, both seen the chair. Mercenary kind of come coming for the rescue. He's trying to break this pallet here. He already is a TP cipher. Nah, he's getting fed to nice. He shouldn't TP. He knows the cipher's about to be ready. Um so this is this is a draw. This is a draw. This is just a draw. It should be a draw. There, there's a chance for a 3k, but it is most likely a draw. Because the mercenary can safely rescue because he's got the, uh, he got that syringe heal off. Lawyer is, um, got the cypher primed. And he's gonna try and chip him. Just chipping him, just chipping him. Yep, yep. Chip him down, chip him down. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, no BT. No BT. Uh oh. Uh oh. This could be 3k. This could be 3k. Oh dear. Okay, he's feeding tinnitus. He's feeding tinnitus. Lawyer can get that gate open. He's gonna throw chuck bottoms on chuck bombs. Yo, you can just you can just sit there and chuck bombs. I'm not sure why he's, he's playing this way too safe. Just just bro, you have a 3k in your hands. Just take it. Just take it. Okay, lawyer gets out. Decoy. Can he get mercenary though? Oh, Merc's heading for dungeon. He's heading for dungeon. He should be able to make this out. He should be able to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, hit him with the... Eh, 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 eh. And he gets out, though. He gets out. It's a draw. No way. A bon bon tie. Never seen that before. That's crazy. On to round two, second half. We're going to see Dream Witch going up against Priestess, Gravekeeper, Novelist, and Barmaid. So they have the Barmaid there. I guess they were somewhat expecting the Dream Witch, but this is a pretty interesting team. Priestess, Novelist, uh, Gravekeeper. I'll be honest with you. I don't really see this, uh, this team comp too often they do have their rescuer with gravekeeper but gravekeeper is an interesting pick i don't know so novelist is here he's got flywheel bar time flywheel on novelist so no 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 um no knee jerk 
Bar time, Nidric on Priestess and Barmaid, and then Bar time tied on the uh, the Gravekeeper. And we've got Blink, Detention, Hunt, Berserk, and something else on the uh, the Dream Witch there. Oh, Novelis, you just metaphored into the other Hunter. That's fun. Or into the other uh, follower. That's kind of goofy. Can you force a Leech hit? Force Leech hit? Force Leech hit? Force Leech hit? Is that Leech? That's Leech. That's Leech. Okay, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. If you can, force out a Leech hit. Never try and take a main, main, main follower hit. Always try to get the leech, um, especially if it's your leech. Oh, if it's your, if, if it's somebody else's leech, it doesn't matter. But if it, when it's your leech, of course. So let's see. Is metaphor being close to? Uh, it is not actually close to being ready at all. Uh, no, no, it is. No, it is. We, okay, we got, we got, um, we got patrol. No, here's, here's the thing. I don't know if metaphor swap cancels patroller bite. I want to say that it doesn't. Metaphor can be canceled by a lot of things. I'm gonna assume that uh, he's gonna fly with a bite, surely. Fly will bite. Yep, fly will bite. Fly will bite. Oh, and the priest is support. Wait. Oh, this is why priest on red church is so stupid. She is so stupid on red church, bro. She is so stupid on red church. And this is exactly why. And the patroller falls off. He kites out the patroller successfully. Oh, what? That hits? No way. If he got through that pallet, dude, that kite was lasting another 20, 30 seconds. Because, yes, he had metaphor. Oh, my gosh, dude. That, that, he, if he, if he didn't get, like, ever so slightly impatient there, if he played it a little more patient, that kite could have been, got, got on for another freaking 30, 40 seconds, dude. That would have been insane, the long kite. That's, that's how much, that's how much a pallet mind game can get you, bro. A pallet mind game is insane. It can, it can literally just save you 30, because the thing is, he still, he still had another, um, metaphor. So he could have metaphored, he could have metaphor pallet stun with no leech, force dreamer set up another leech, push back into red church, um, Wait, what the? Oh, okay. Yeah, Gra uh, Gravekeeper does come on in, gets the rescue, and we might see her soft to blink sometime here. Uh, there's the blink. Oh! Oh, but the blink did come out. The blink did not come out. He didn't cancel the blink, and he just dies anyway. So now she still has her blink. Cool. Um, yeah, so he heard that and didn't want to die to the blink, but he just dies to the freaking... He just dies to the leech anyway. She leeches up on the... Uh, uh, on the novice once again. So I guess the one the one saving grace there is that he did force a leech hit, but now the blink is still back up. There, there's two blinks up. There's blink on leech, and there's blink on uh, on the follower. Okay, ciphers aren't uh, cipher. Uh, the ciphers are okay, honestly, but they use up their one use of tide. Uh, net metaphor is nowhere near being ready. This this novice hasn't charged up their metaphor properly. I don't think. I, I feel like they could have charged up the metaphor a lot better. His metaphor should be like at 50% right now. Because I'm pretty sure you can charge up during Tide, right? I don't. I actually don't remember. Uh, but even then, I feel like he could have charged up like way faster. There were like points where he could have been looking at her and wasn't. But, you know, to be fair, against a Dream Witch, it probably is a little goofy because like the followers and the leeches. And I don't know if the novice adjustment came in where he can swap with the inactive leech or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I think that was actually... I think the adjustment actually was in koa oh predicts the portal actually wait that was a really good portal oh 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 geez you're trapped what the dude dx predicting the portal location that was so good that was actually so good and she only has one portal left she has one portal left for her name use the portal with the follower oh boy what is this dude that that is that is so jank just breaking the portal just by going through it this might as well what else what else is that thing gonna do or that that was that was a leech that was a leech yeah and use the blink. Good stuff, yeah. Just force the leech to go through the portal because you knew it would come back anyway. Oh, that's so funny, dude. That is so funny. Might, yeah, break the, gotta break the portal somehow. Look at that little doofy priestess sticker there. Yep. Sets up a leech onto the cypher, forces him off the cypher because that is the final cypher. And now we're getting the cypher pressure here. We might see a struggle free, but it's okay because we got, yep, main follower does its thing. Yep, that's a dream much thing. Yep. Struggling free against a dream much is just like never gonna happen, dude. It's just, it's not happening. If, if you're up against a good Dream Witch, it's its never going to happen. Okay, so we do see she's getting kind of aggressive on the Gravekeeper here for some reason. I guess trying to push him away. Oh, trying to break his shovel. Trying to break his shovel before he comes in for the rescue. I think that's why. Okay, okay. But you need to put this person in the chair. Um, the Cypher is indeed climbing once again. Gravekeeper can't really stall this out. Yep, he has to go for the rescue now. Actually, can he even get it? Wait. He can't even get it. He can't even get it. That's why! That's why! Oh my gosh! DX cooking! And now that's 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 3k at minimum. You only need a 3k, but you can't you can push for a 4k. But with, with somebody on the chair, the barmaid can do these healing things. You had two people in the chair, barmaid's forced to come in, nobody's on a cipher. One's at 70, one's at 50. Another leech, dude, another leech. 
Oh boy, how do you come back from this? Okay, no, no, uh, no, no, no freaking terror shock there. But Gravekeeper has nothing. He's just gonna die. He has nothing. He literally has nothing. Barmy can heal up, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Is she just gonna go to? She's gonna go to. Uh, yep, just gonna go to her. Not much you can do. I don't even know if she gets this bottle off. Blink is not. Blink is not up. Blink is not up. Does get the bottle off. Does get the bottle off. Can get the rescue just barely. And Gravekeeper actually might be able to self heal here. Oh, but the blink! That's right. There was another follower there the whole time. Yup. 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 That's 4K. Ooh. DX is cooking. See, that is why chairing on the Cypher is so overpowered, especially as Dream Witch. Oh, that was so good. And yeah, that is actually going to be the win for FPX ZQ. DX sweeping through uh, XMG with that uh, that hunter skill. We're going to see a Morningstar Nightwatch cosplay. Is that what that was? Anyway, yeah, good, good stuff to FPX ZQ. All right, everybody. That is going to be it for today. So thank you so very much for watching. I do really appreciate it as always. Had some really good games. Whoa. Jeez, when you go up against the wall, you decline fast. Sheesh, what's up with that? I'm going back up there, bro. But yeah, we had some really good games played today. Always love watching some co-op games. Don't have too many more uh, left to watch when it comes to CN mainland stuff. Uh, we are gonna, you know, gonna continue on to global finals whenever that starts uh, in just a few more days. So yeah, look forward to that, everybody. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.